Welcome guys, my name is Shabir and today we will talk about database management and trust me when I say this, it is very useful to know about databases. The objective of this video is to cover the following points so by the end of it you are much more informed about databases. We'll cover what is a database, what is a database management system, why is it important and finally why do we actually need it. So let's get into it. What is a database? Now, humans have been using databases for centuries long before uh, the databases we know of today that exist whether they were in the form of Sumerian tablets that uh, Sumerian tablets to use as uh, an index of medical prescriptions uh, card catalogs a product inventory or any other thing that you can think of a database is basically a collection of data and information describing items of interest to an organization. It has the following criteria, and they are, it, uh, it is a collection of records. It has a way to organize information so it is easily accessible, and it helps manage, uh, manipulate, organize, sort, and modify information, sort of like a filing cabinet, you can think of that. So enough of the theory let's get into some practical examples so here we have uh, Mr. Khan running a local convenience store in a village in Peshawar Pakistan my hometown uh, the people of uh, that village there are no more than 2,000 people therefore his store does not contain more than 200 different types of products it's a fairly small store since it's since it's a fairly small store he can manage the inventory manually and he writes everything down in his, in a separate book right he has a separate book for each month and this way he can keep track of his inventory on the other side we have mr jones who is running uh, his store in a city and it contains more than 10,000 different types of items. Therefore, he cannot physically write down every single item in a book, so he uses a software to keep track of his different inventory. Now, both Mr. Khan and Jones uh, are using databases. Mr. Khan is using a physical ledger, uh, whereas Mr. Jones is using a software. All right. They're both considered databases in a sense. This is keeping a collection of records. This is also keeping a collection of records. He has a system to organize th uh, uh, the records over here, and so does Jones. All right, and he can he can't really sort, but I guess if he has been doing it for so long, so he can find a faster way to sort it. Um, now. If Mr. Khan were to decide, if he decides to open, uh, his, to take his local convenience store and he opens multiple stores in the city, then he can't simp he can't use a ledger uh, in every store. It it simply won't be efficient. All right. Therefore, if in terms of efficiency, when both owners are put on the same level, Mr. Jones here is much more efficient because he has an application that saves him time. If physical ledgers were involved in both cases, it would be a complete disaster. They are never gonna, they will never be able to perform a clear inventory of their stores. Now, let's see what is a database management system. So, a database management system is basically uh, the program that makes it possible for users to manage the data in a database in order to increase accessibility and productivity. Some examples of the softwares that uh, uh, some examples of the softwares include MySQL Workbench, Microsoft Access, SQL Server, Oracle, and there are many other more that you can find online. And uh, most of these softwares are actually free. Uh, uh, MySQL Workbench Access comes with Windows by default. Microsoft SQL Server, I believe these ones are fairly free, so I I encourage you to go ahead download them get yourself familiarized with it so let's go to why do we need a database as i'm sure you're aware that uh, in, in today's world information is very crucial and we need to aim for accuracy in information databases helps us manage just uh, databases helps us do just that 
uh, they help us manage large chunks of data so you no longer need to write uh, inventory in a physical book you can simply save it in a database and it's easily manageable you aim for uh, it helps us with accuracy so you no longer have to write duplicate records um, if you know you write something at the beginning of January by the time you reach towards the end of January you might have forgotten what you wrote in the beginning you you know you can rewrite the same data over databases will prevent you from doing that okay um, security there's no denying that if you have if you write your information on a physical piece of paper or in a book it's not really safe um, so if you were to put it in a database your information you can restrict it by applying some security rules to it uh, and this leads us to data integrity and again organizing data data integrity as I mentioned earlier it assures you accuracy and consistency um, uh, of your data because you have check checks and access controls built inside the application and your organized your data is much more organized because it's in one centralized place so you can manipulate it much easily finally the last question all right why is it important the answer to that is efficiency all right businesses need efficiency it allows in databases allow information to be more useful and easily accessible e easy to access this way p this uh, way people can be more efficient and perform multiple tasks and businesses can see an increase in their productivity leading it to more revenue which will eventually create more jobs so in a sense it helps run the economy that is why businesses aim for efficiency the f the 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 if more efficient a business can be the more revenue they can make the more they can expect to the, the more they can expect to hire more people the more jobs it can create it helps the economy grow um, now that was all that I had for this video I hope you have benefited from this video and if you have please share it uh, please give it a like and share it with those who you believe will benefit from it as well if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below and I promise to get to it as soon as possible I will be releasing more videos uh, every Sunday so stay tuned by subscribing it's totally up to you uh, thank you again for listening. This is Shabir and have a wonderful day.